But I'm going to run with the Chicago Bears this football season here. And um, it, it's a football team that uh, even before they drafted Caleb Williams, I like the way that they, they tended to business last year, the way they closed out the football season. They started out 3-8 and eight on the year, and they went up 4-2 and two out on the season here. Their offense and their defense improved on both sides of the football, 15 yards and 53 yards respectively on each side of the football. And uh, thanks to that 5-3 and three finish they had last year, they were 3-14 and 14 the first year, and they moved to 7-10 and 10 the second year under Matt Eberflus, their second-year head coach. Now they've got Caleb Williams, and they've got a wide receiver in Romy Adunze. They were first-round picks in a draft that our lads and pro football focus had rated A-plus draft for the Chicago Bears this football season. Also, if you look at their record body of work last year, uh, look, look at the, some of the teams they played last year and who they're going to play this year. It's a much more fortuitous schedule for the Chicago Bears this year, who I think will have their first winning season in 11 years this football season. I think uh, there's a lot of good things going on in Chicago. Well, you'll see here, Detroit 12-5 and five in the regular season. A little bit of a letdown, definitely expected. Green Bay 9-8, and eight. Uh, Minnesota, Chicago both went 7-10 and 10 straight up. If I can throw in my little bit of uh, over-under angle. Obviously, when Detroit is playing at home indoors, we always look to go over the total. They went 6-2 and two to the over in their home games last year. 51.0 combined points per game and in fact one of the best home over teams of the last four seasons in fact Detroit home games uh, since now 2019 have gone 22 and 11 67 percent over the total 54.8 points per game again Detroit and I'll have something to say about their indoor games we always look to go over the total uh, Green Bay was an interesting team in their road and home splits last year in regards to over-under results. Only 39.4 combined points per game at home last year, but 46.4 on the road. They went 7-2 and two to the over. Their road games averaged 7 points per game more than their home games last year. Uh, not much in the area of both Minnesota and Chicago. Uh, Minnesota three and five over under at home four and five on the road both teams somewhere in the neighborhood of 42 to 44 combined points per game but I'm gonna I'm gonna load up on the Lions to once again repeat as uh, champions of the NFC North and guys in their 17 game schedule and Mark touched on this in our yearbook magazine only three total outdoor games for the Lions on this year's schedule. 14 indoor games, only three outdoor games. Last year, they had their best offense in the last six seasons, 394 yards per game, 27 points per game, and their best defense in the last nine years as well. And this was an area in which they addressed with the draft in the offseason. For me, the clincher, Detroit does very well against winning teams. In fact, in the last three years against greater than 500 opponents, the Lions have gone 14-2-1 and one ATS. They usually save their best for when they are playing winning teams. I think they repeat as champion. Uh, most disappointing team, this is a pretty good day uh, for us to all pile on the Minnesota <laughs> Vikings. And I say that because earlier this morning it was announced Rookie first-round quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, now out for the year. It's going to be Sam Darnold for the whole season in Minnesota. Uh, not only that, but uh, I just found out about an hour ago that an impactful offensive player was injured today and taken off the field in the cart. That would be second-year wide receiver Jordan Addison. What is going on in Minnesota this offseason? It, oh it just God. happened wow. about an hour ago. So wow. uh, we're going to be piling on the Vikings probably. Wow. And with injuries at that position last year, they had their worst offensive year since 2019. They're being compared with the Dallas Cowboys as far as the least improved team in the entire league. And that's what you're going to get when you lose a signal caller who had a 12-year quarterback rating of 98.2 in Kirk Cousins 
and you got to play the guy with the worst ATS record for quarterback since the 2018 season, Sam Darnold, 22-33-1 ATS. I think there are multiple guys here in the panel are going to be piling on Minnesota for a disappointing team this year. 